Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Occupied by Fashion. My name is Selena and I review, unbox, and talk all things luxury. Thank you for stopping by, so let's get into it. Today is going to be something a little different, um, but that's something I've been wanting, so I'm so excited to share. It is going to be a YSL unboxing of the Opium Heels. So yeah, so I toyed getting these shoes for the longest only because I heard they were so, so, so uncomfortable. But I think that I found a pair that's not. So I just took the box off. Um, and yes, I already did open them just so I could try them on first. And I wanted to give like an opinion and tips on these ones versus the heel point one. So this is the shoe. Absolutely stunning. I chose these ones because I feel like in designer shoes, typically, like a full shoe is more comfortable or with the back out. Now, these shoes do come in two other styles. They come in a sling back style that I actually wanted originally and I still might get it with the gold heel. They also come in a strappy heel. Now, the strappy pump of the Opium Heels is a toe killer. There's nothing comfortable about that shoe. The only thing about that shoe is that it is stunning. Like, more stunning than this one, I might say, I don't know. But that shoe is absolutely divine. It's just, I'm at the point now where I have a designer shoe, so it's do I want to be, like, extra cute or do I want to be, like, halfway in pain? So, these are halfway in pain. The other ones are extra cute. Now, the sleeve back ones, I feel like, are a nice mixture. Um, but I do kind of have big feet, so I couldn't find my size for a while, but and I stopped looking, then I found these ones. So, like I said, I do have big feet. My feet size is 40, um, which is going to be a U.S. size 10. But these I did get in a 41, and let me tell you, like, they're, like they, they're not comfortable, but they don't hurt. Um, I'm a true size 10, by the way. So, these are, like, the best bang for my book, I feel like, because they don't hurt, but they're not comfortable. Granted, I didn't wear it too long. As you can see, the bottom is still pretty, like, new. I just walked around my house on the carpet for a while. I sat down in them. I got up in them. So, yeah. Like I said before, I got the matte black one. These are tying into my new, like, black edgy vibe <laughs> thing I have going on. I don't know if it's going to stay much longer, but I it's been fun while it lasted. These are just super cute with, like, anything. You can dress them up. You can dress them down. Now, the gold, um, like, the gold heels one, I feel like can't exactly be dressed down. I mean, they can, but you still have that, like, super sophisticated, like, stare at me shoe these ones are the same but i feel like since it's just an all black heel you have to really like catch like you have to just catch the eye of like your eye has to catch the shoe so i think it's more of an understated but dressy or not is i don't know i think it's just a the black is a more rounded um shoe now i will say the only thing about this shoe that i don't like is that i feel like it just has to be worn in. I also know I can't like get mad about it, but I prefer like shoes that are not going to get messed up at the bottom. Like I, I love red bottoms. I love Christian Louboutin, Christian Louboutin shoes. Just those shoes are so, so, so painful to me. So I think that this is a better buy than those. Nevertheless, those are definitely a better look than these, if that makes sense. But I do want to share a few tips with you on the on these shoes. So you can, or any shoes for example, but like I prefer to wear numbing cream on my toes. I know that's extreme, but I feel like that's probably why now me and designer shoes get along. I will literally numb my toes an hour before I wear them. With, and you can get any numbing cream, it doesn't really matter. But I would numb my feet an hour before I have to go somewhere. That way, for like the next four hours, typically max, I'm going to have the shoe on. I feel nothing. I absolutely feel nothing. So I can strut. I can catwalk. I can like sway all the time, all the day, the whole night away because I feel nothing. So just a tip to the wise. If you like have 
designer shoes or not even designer shoes just shoes that are hard to wear in general but you really want to wear them try numbing your feet thank me later also you can always like stretch out your shoe i personally don't do that because i have wide feet i just found out or at least i think that i have wide feet so i feel like if i stretch the shoe out it's going to be a, li a bit too big when it does eventually stretch on its own because all leather shoes stretch so like it's fine getting your size up if you want to but i also say like try the shoe on if it's like unbearable pain go a size up but if it's just like hurts but not like excruciating it might be worth the, it to stretch the shoe out that way the shoe will last longer for you because eventually it's going to stretch out and then it'll be too big and you don't want to be walking and your heel pop out so yeah this is the opium shoe and i didn't even show you the other one so this is the other one they come in this dust bag i did get these from harrods and no i wasn't planning on getting them but i saw them and they had my size so i got them both but these are the shoes I don't know. Oh, I took the other one out already because I think that I tried this one on first. But yeah, these are so, so cute. Like, can you imagine this with like this top and some leather shorts, but like half the shirt tucked in? Can you imagine this with some boyfriend jeans and a white cropped long sleeve top? Oh my gosh, to think of it now, I know that I need to get a black all black YSL bag. I mean, I know that I have an off-white all black bag, but I think it would make this vibe I have going on with these shoes better if I got a all black YSL bag. Well, I mean, I know it would. I know it will. So I have to find out which bag I'm going to get. Probably the walk. Do you think the walk would go well with these shoes or like a different one? Let me know what bag you would pair with these shoes if you were going to get these shoes. But anyways, these are the OBM shoes. My take to them, if I think that they're worth it, which I absolutely do, they just wouldn't be my first buy. Um, I definitely wouldn't buy them full price. I think these can be like a twelve hundred, no, like a thousand, maybe eleven or twelve after taxes. But you can get them for like nine hundred. I mean, I know it's not that big of a difference, but it is. You can get them for like nine hundred, eight hundred dollars. So, I would say like if you don't have to have them at the moment, you see them. Wait until you can like see like find a better price for them. Um, but yeah, these are the opium pumps in the matte black. This is the high the high heel height. It is 110 because I like to stretch. So yeah, these are the shoes. Oh, let me show you better. These are the shoes. In all the, the more I'm looking at them, the more I'm like, oh, I need to go somewhere. I need to wear these. These are these are kill. Cool. These are killer. If you are thinking about them, go for it. Numb your feet, girl. Numb your feet. Bye. A size up if your feet is wide if your feet is not wide you might be getting in the way with your true size but I find that in leather shoes if you go a size up if you have feet like me big feet wide feet feet that are not prone to designer heels it's the best option so anyways that's my reaction and my take to these bad boys I hope that you enjoyed the video bye